don't think I'm strong enough to fight two bosses. Like... I don't know, I also don't think that's a worth an item worth fighting bosses for. This, however, is... Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. We are making this mistake. And I'm pretty sure that's how I introduced this last time. Oh no. It's not good, but it's not bad. The Sacrificial Dagger is arguably really good because it is a tier blocking orbital. And it's pretty big. Just sizably, it's pretty big. I should blow up the fires. Now last time, I uh, had some audio difficulties at the start. Which, uh, I don't know, it's pretty par for the course to be honest. But we fixed it a little bit in there and we got a decent way into some runs. Well, a run. I made a mistake. Oh, that's right. I didn't even address last time that I picked up Dark Bum because I'm an idiot. Dark Bum actually isn't a bad thing to have now. I've come to realize. Uh, like, I thought about it. Like, I reflexively went, I picked up Dark Bum, I'm a fool. But Dark Bum now dropping pills could actually be really good. Like, could actually be very good uh, because it lets you do something with an otherwise unusable resource, which is HP. Granted, it can, like, drop spiders on you, which could kill you, but... That seems to be less likely if you're traversing the room and getting HP. Or to find HP. Alright, I was trying to use the sacrificial dagger, that's what I get. Don't kill me. Oh my god. There we go. Luckily we also have two re er, rerolls sitting in that room. Duke of Flies. If I can just get the Sack Dagger in the right orientation, we just drain his health. Right, I don't know what it is. Tears and shot speed up. Alright. We'll go ahead and jump into the alternate floors. I hate Curse of the Blind. It's, it's a dumb curse. Uh, it's perhaps not as bad on other characters, but when there are so many useless items in the pool, like there are for the Lost, you just, yeah. <laughs> you can't help but go derp. Because you end up picking up stuff that's actually bad. Well, fuck, we could do that. That actually isn't even half bad on the lost. Oh, we gotta get the money. Oh my gosh. It's like, is this how I die? I flee. Alright, we could find the secret room. And there you go. That's the sack dagger at work. Like, just legit. That's that sack dagger at work right there. I may have hit with a tear or two, but... And that might have been a little bit ballsier than I would have liked to be. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with, with that one. Okay, we gotta be really careful. Ooh, 
Little Brim gives us some extra barrage power. I don't actually know what this does. As long as we're smart about this. Alright, there are three potential secret rooms. Valid. Could also just bomb the shit out of... Well, that's not valid, so I suppose there's... Oh wait, there's more than that. Look, I'm down for chaos for one main reason, and it's because devil uh, deals are already inherently bad for us. Okay. This is why we have a donation machine. Like, the donation machine exists for these situations. We only get one devil deal anyway. It's probably a money judgment, so I want to hold on to it. But yeah, the whole, uh... Swipping, swap, swipping, swapping around item pools. Um, I legit don't know what that does, but I don't think we're strong enough. You're now like super rich, though. I don't think I'm strong enough to fight two bosses. Like, I don't know, I also don't think that's a worth an item worth fighting bosses for. This, however, is. Because I like to put myself in bad positions against this guy, I'm just using little brim. Any other tiers that hit are entirely incidental, and that is a bad start. Okay, this is this is good. Shit. Oh well. That, the, you, you really can't ever get attached to a lost run because this can happen at any second. And I mean any second. I think Squeezy was worth the risk. I'm not afraid to say that. Squeezy is a good tears up. Well, I like that. space. Do I get to take all of these? Or do I only get to take one? Shit. I'm gonna guess I only get to take one of these. In which case I take PhD. Because knowing what pills are and getting good pills, it's like 48 hour energy, that's a good pill. We know what our pills are, we know they're good, we can get a lot of stat ups, especially because that's third room of the game. Third room of the game, 48 hour energy, and PhD, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh wait, I didn't actually get hit by that one, okay. 
I'm okay with this. Plus, we also have 10 cents already. I think there can only be one... Uh, I know that can't be the secret room, but... That is the top secret room. I'm pretty sure there can only be one crawl space per floor. Well, that's a cool top secret room, but not one that we can take advantage of, sadly. I'm not risking my life over this one. I don't have to get into a shootout with you. Data miner, I, so I learned that data miner, oh God, oh God, we just lost damage. F me, dude. We just lost 1.5 damage, I think. That just generates trinkets, right? This is good though. When he get oh when he gets hit, he charges our item. So maybe not the best. Okay. I don't think that's I mean we have got infinite bombs, so we can make it happen. I'm just bombing because I can at this point. If these guys kill me, I'll be sad, but also impressed. Alright, well that's the key we need to move on. Um, I'm going to take Chaos because I'm stupid. Like, I think, it's, I think it's legit. Or sorry, that's restock. What am I talking about? Why did I think that was chaos? I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I don't I don't wanna stay. I haven't fought the boss yet? Am I stupid? There's this wonderful little safety area down here for me, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, I'm pretty sure my lowest stat is my damage, so yeah, I'd like that back, please. Yeah, data miner screwed us really bad. I don't even know what it increased. It decreases one thing to increase another. Alright, luckily we found our item room very quickly. Well, I can tell you how useful one of these is. And I can tell you how useful the other one is. Wait, we got a battery? Okay. Alright, goodbye. Unfortunate, but... Turns out, Blue Baby's only friend... Oh, right, you can, you can attack me. Okay, they come after me. I'm trying to use my own tears as well as... Dang. As well as Blue Baby's only friend. We're getting a lot of... Oh, that's right. The batteries are dropping from our friend. Which is good. It means that we'll have hopefully a bunch of rolls on different things. Yep. 
Those kill me. Those kill me. Like, they just... They know how to get me. How? Why? I don't know. We have... I mean, uh, promising run. Always. The runs are always promising. Alright, I... I'm going to do the bad thing. And... Why so much Curse of the Blind? Okay, we got a library, which... Okay, I mean, it's good to know that exists. But I'd like to roll in the library. Um, I can actually be stupid. Free entry. Thank you, Mulbooms. More likely to get uh, champion enemies, which means more likely to get drops. Really want a key, guys. I really want a key. I'm only brave enough to move in this room when I can do it over the rocks. Four spiders aren't that bad when you add the fat guys in, though. The more rolls we can get in the library, the better, even if it makes books disappear. It's bookworm. We do have a lot of bombs, but not enough for me to be feel good giving bombs to the bomb beggar. I do love our little monocle. We are rich. Do I want to buy the friend or do I want... I mean, I'm going to reroll in the library until there's no more pedestals in the library. Actually, I'm going to go fight the boss first. Well, I'm going to... Yeah. I'd like... I'd love to, you know, reroll the boss, but... It's one of those things. So I've heard that you swap this enough and it becomes Monster Manuel. Am I wrong? There it is, Monster Manuel. Um, touching more books means more likelihood to get more books, and eventually, if we just get a whole bunch of libraries, um, we, they end up just being very large, well-stocked item rooms. I don't think any of you can get me up here. Fantastic. Yeah, boss rooms attached to this one. So, because I used the Satanic Bible, and perhaps I'm wrong about this, I really don't know. But because I used the Satanic Bible, I do believe that we are going to get a devil deal as our item here. Which I'll take Sister Maggie. Considering how well... Oh, wait, we don't have any keys, do we? Because we used the one key in the library. We could bomb to buy this familiar. I'm down for that. Uh, we literally can't take advantage of that because we can't pick up red hearts. What is this? He's got a hover vehicle? You do you, dude. You do you.
good book. Alright. It means that we're going to get another floor of, you know, not helpful, but... Or not as helpful. Then again, I kind of prefer our basements. Alright. We have a key. Granted, that might be... Oh my gosh. We're rich. We're getting so much money. Alright, we can go into boss challenge rooms, which is good. We can roll on a boss challenge room and decide what we think is a worthy fight. And not that room is the answer to that question. Oh wow, I almost ran right into that fire. Good, we have our item room and our shop. Alright, so normally I wouldn't because we need the key, but... Oh, that's a moldy breath. Uh, SMB Superfan is a lot of stats up, so I'll take it. Even though it is also an HP up, I believe that is the more minor of them. I mean, it is useless to us in this case, but I think the other stat up is... The other stats ups, stat ups are worth it. No small rock today. We have our boss fight, which will include our devil deal. I forgot we had PhD. Gemini should be a very easy fight. With the familiars that we have, we yep, we can in fact stun lock the second half of Gemini. Uh, yes, I'm gonna just preemptively take that. Well, game, you can be a dick. Alright, Angel Rooms it is, folks. Angel Rooms it is. Well, possibly. Obviously, we could still get Devil Rooms. Uh, this is... Okay. We've got a couple valid... Nope. This one's not valid. We do have to find a key, or suddenly this becomes a beast run, which makes me significantly less confident in its level of success. All right, we have our way out. This can continue as a mother run. Uh, I feel pretty good about our chance. Oh my God, he's blue, but da ba dee da ba die. Ah, he gives us flies. If we get hit there, we are dead. Just like if we get hit there, we are dead. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, first, let's see if... I think we've got two valid secret rooms. The first one is here. And the second one... is down here. We've got enough bombs that I don't mind spending, too to find it. It's just a battery charge. What else was in the shop? I should double check. We've got enough money. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, we're not going into the shop. I almost went into the shop. If there's no key in the shop, then we throw the runway, and uh, that we're doing good enough right now that I don't want to take that gamble. Plus, there, we could also find resources. We could have found a key in that room. Although, I don't know how normal that is or how lucky that is. All right, curse the maze. Ooh, that was close. For some reason those light colored shots, I'm more I feel like I'm more likely to miss just not see them. All right, boss challenge room. Nope, the boss challenge rooms have not been worth it. I 
hate these flies. I hate these flies. I hate these flies. Plus, we also have the extra shenanigans. We can just send in our barrage of tears here, which is nice. Yeah, see, I feel like... I mean, I'm taking that. No. Don't get me wrong, it's a good item. I just, no. I don't think, uh... Just like it's very hard to part with the D6 on Isaac, it will be very hard to part with the D6. Or the Eternal D6 on the Lost. Uh, no. I'm not taking the Dunce Cap. But here's the question is, did the Devil Room stay? I actually didn't notice on the way out. So we should check. Even if only briefly. did not stay. Alright, so that means we are re-rolling, or spending this re-roll at the very least, in the item room. Uh, I forget who that is. I know it's a, it's, a, it's a familiar, but it's not the same as one of the babies. Make you rush after them, explode in leeches, so that they can kill you. I feel like there are different types of leech. Like, I guess they're darker when they're in the air, which is weird. I definitely am saving for something useful. I feel like holding off is entirely reasonable. Okay. We need to save two bombs. That is something we have to keep in mind. Good, we found the shop. I like finding the shop. Give us another place to reroll. Um, having a lot of bombs is good, but it loses some of its luster because we can't take as much advantage of bombs as the lost. Mostly just in that, like, oops, tinted rocks and blue fires don't hold appeal or at least nearly much as much appeal but I think what we're no it's an interesting item I can't deny that it's an interesting item but I don't understand it well enough in terms of like like, normally we'd get one tick of charge in this room, right? Like, normally that's what we'd get. We'd get one tick of charge, that's what we'd get, that would be that, you know, done. But, maybe we would have gotten a full charge in this room, right? Like, maybe that is how this would have played out. But then there's also times where I definitely noticed we've gotten less. Alright, well, we're going to get a charge, but it's going to be... In, actually, we can just come back in and out of the mirror realm, like, super easily. Technically, you could do it all... You could always do that. It just costs more time and effort. Yeah, we can just 
Oh, this is going to take so long if I do it this way. I'm going to head straight to the boss because I think re-rolling the boss, uh, boss room pool is going to be more useful. There's a lot of stuff in the shop pool, but not nearly enough. Unfortunately, we're going to get two whole re-rolls in before that happens. So we've got two, we got a big room and then two small rooms, and I think there's combat in both of them. Uh, okay, I was like, I missed something, and it was that. Could we, could we roll that? Alright, so unfortunately, the min-maxer in me has to do this. Actually, I have to check in here and make sure that that's empty. It'd be interesting if, like, when the Eternal D6 failed on something, it went into the Mirror Realm. That's, like, a purely interesting thought. Well, that I will take. Two keys, and on top of that, golden chests pay out better. Uh, which is just good. It's just good. <sighs> Especially because, as the Lost, we will likely be able to access every golden chest. What card is it? The world. Could be useful. See, our damage is okay. Our fire rate is what's kind of carrying us right now. Okay. Oh, that's just tier size and range. I thought that was a tiers up as well. Eh, the drops. I do it for the drops. Oop, I got hit. Please don't die. I'm gonna go ahead and dip briefly. Just in case somehow these these flies get the better of me. Which could happen and wouldn't be the first time. And likely wouldn't be the last time just play this game enough, it, it'll happen sort of thing. Oh right, curse the maze. Oh right, you. I think mom's key just makes golden chests pay out better, but it could be everything. I think the 10 luck is better. I The trickle charge... The trickle charge makes this take one room. So actually I think it's better. It makes this take one room to charge. I definitely find it weird that that has dropped multiple times from, I believe, the same boss. Or at least the same boss in the same place. I don't know. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm misremembering triple char trickle charge, but I believe I'm correct. It fills out your last. Uh... Nope, I can't. Uh, I can't do that without a teleport. I might get one though. So. I don't think these can get above the rocks. They look like they're breaking on the rocks. Okay. It's, it's spiders, so it's always dangerous. Spiders are the trickiest of things. What is this familiar that we have? Oh god, oh gosh. In the dark of the room I didn't see them, but that's okay. Well, it's a little late for two trinkets. Compass... Actually, I think the compass is really good. Call me crazy, it lets us head towards our goals faster. Which I think is important. Alright, we get to see if this charge is in one room or not. If I have made a grievous error, it does. Hell yeah. Of course, it's gonna be a lot of wasted charge, but wow. Them colliding actually killed themselves. tears up. It's worth remembering if I see a shop. Well, being in the lost does give you that advantage. Book of Shadows. Um, I mean, it's a good book for the lost. I mean, it's a good book. But it's one of those things that just like, is it worth the d6 and the answer is sadly no and neither is that okay when the coals can be a spider that makes me sad but also we get to reroll on this a lot more okay shit what does the white lotus do i think it just gives you hearts right No, that's not Eden's blessing. Uh, is it? Oh, is it purity? Uh, this is in Spanish. Why is this in Spanish? Uh, I'm pretty sure it just gives you grants an aura, bending a boost depending on the aura's color. Taking damage causes the aura to appear. Uh, it is especially difficult for the lost to change auras. It is possible to use. The dull razor? Sounds like no. I mean, it, if I just get one, one of them is plus four damage. I, I think it's a no from me, boss. That's a lot of batteries. That's a lot of batteries. Wait, is that cursed eye? Cursed eye is actually really good on the lost because uh, if we get hit, we die.
so the other detriments of being teleported don't really apply. Although, I really don't like it right now, actually. I think I've made a mistake. It's kind of like playing with chocolate milk now, which I didn't want to do. Well, we're just going to die here, so that's okay. You can get hit randomly during that attack. I wondering what was up. What the hell? That one launched a ridiculous barrage of tears at me. I hate that. It appears out of nowhere and basically telefrags you. Like, yes, I had like a second to react there, but it really wasn't enough. Alright, well, that is that. That's the end of this episode. There's going to be a lot of episodes of playing as the Lost, I can tell you that right now. Um, maybe I will be... Like, I don't know, the Lost doesn't frustrate me. Like, I'm not frustrated that I'm dead. I'm frustrated by the attack, not that I'm dead. Because I took stupid damage early, and that's my own fault. So, like, that, that part doesn't bug me. I don't know. Me playing the loss is weird. There are a lot of games that can frustrate me by doing stupid crap, and I feel like normally I would categorize under stupid crap, but something about the challenge of the Lost... I was going to say rubs me the right way, but that's... that's No, that's the wrong phrase. Um, it doesn't rub me the wrong way just something about it unsure but that's it for this episode thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this one i know that the lost can get a little bit boring when there's so much death but i think there's a lot of interesting gameplay and decisions that occur in lost runs and i think that's the fun part of them so i'll see you next time but until then keep your gears turning